All right, so this Fauna is who we're going to be talking about in this video. We're going to be giving her full guide from gear skill pages to some teams that you could run and talents and a bit more just talking a bit about her kit. This Fauna is actually really good. I think that sometimes she could be very circumstantial in the teams that she plays within, but her damage is the craziest damage we've ever seen in this game. Her damage is AoE when it could be considered single target percentages, when it, it's just so insane. Like, you're basically doing what another person would be doing single target to everyone, which makes it very insane. And it makes her numbers look very high because obviously they are. In my PvP video, I hit 1 million damage, so, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's definitely something. And her animations look great. That, look at this. Like, this intro is insane. So, let's start talking about her skills, then get on to if you should do her. So, starting off, skill 1 uh, is going to be giving her hatred stacks. So, skill 1 and 2 gives hatred stacks. Skill 1 gives 1 stack. Skill 2 gives 2 stacks. And you could get a max of 5 stacks, and each stack is going to increase your ultimate damage a bit. Now, the skill 1 will also be doing 35% more damage if you, I'm pretty sure if it's if you have a taunt, but let it translate for a second, but yeah, it should be, if, sorry, if the enemy has a taunt, you will be doing 35% more damage, which is pretty good, I mean, the extra 35% is 35%, but surprisingly enough, this skill 1, that single target, does less damage than the skill 2, that's AoE, AoE, so this is an AoE, and it guaranteed applies burn, which makes it very good to apply or just to use with people like Magna who needs the burns. So that's a very good thing to have, just AoE. And the damage is 140%, which is a very high multiplier. The normal AoE alt multiplier is 120%, and her skill 2 damage is higher, which is nice. Now I'll talk about the taunt later when we get to the skill pitch section, because that's not on the base kit. But actually, I guess, just to say the skill pitch adds AoE taunt, for 60% chance, which is very strong. Now, the ultimate is the big bread and butter. So, the base amount of damage is 210%, and then you do an extra 30% if you have no hatred stacks. And then, as you can see, it goes to a 50, 70, 100, 130, and then 180 for the amount of hatred stacks. Now, it's very good. Uh, you're able to get her hatred stacks in like three or four turns, usually depending on certain circumstances. If there's a Julius to increase the skill uh, amount of time for the skill two, then of course it's going to be more turns. But because this gives two stacks and this gives one, you should be able to get pretty high up pretty quickly. But usually you don't even need to get to five stacks for you to like actually cook. So these three skills are very good. And what's cool is that this combo also puts a taunt, which could be very good. Now, what helps her is that she has 109 speed. Now, it shows 111, but that's only because I have a plus two speed on her. And if we're going to look at her stats in comparison, in comparison to everyone else, well, this is it. So, Fauna is the second highest magic attack and is tied with Vanessa. Vanessa's stats are honestly very good. If we're comparing it to someone else... Let me not go in green, but in just DPSs. It is, uh, yeah, so if we're looking, she has a bit less stats than uh, Leopold and Fauna combined if we combine magic and attack together. But overall, she has more stats than people like Noel and Julius, which is very good, and especially Magna. So yeah, but her speed in general, what's cool about her is that she's at 109 speed with zero dupes required. So that is definitely a good thing. So yeah, no, Fauna, very good. Each of her skills have a use. Skill 1 could do decent damage, but just for the stacks, it's nice that like at least they gave use to the skill 1, which is good. Skill 2 does really good damage. You're going to see that damage-wise, it's very good. And then obviously, the burn is nice for burn teams. And the taunt, if you have the skill page, is definitely amazing, especially because she has 109 speed. She's going to be usually going before for a person like Radis or Noel, so she could taunt them and they cannot use barriers. Then her alt damage is the craziest thing in the world. I think you could probably hit 3 million if you could stack it up right, but it's just nothing in the game could survive to get up to 5 stacks, right? So as of right now, it's going to be hard to get 3 million, and the combo is good. Now, going on to her passives, her base passive or LR passive is going to be that if the whole team's green, they get one turn stun block or uh, status abnormality immunity, and that's very good. If it's just that because she has high speed, you're not really going to be attacking after the stuns. Or, uh, sorry, attacking before the stuns. So, like, she's going to run out the st uh, stun block before, she before, like, the enemies put the stuns. So, sometimes that's going to be in an awkward situation where 
you attack and then they stun because you're high speed at like going up to 111 plus all this right so because you could reach very high speeds people with the stun might attack later which means that this stun block might be worthless even for the whole team especially because the green team is very quick now what the lr or sorry the dupe passive is is that you're going to be getting or let, so let's see if hatred stacks five times you get set to one percent hp so you're gonna get immortality at the same time and then you're gonna heal 50 percent when it's your turn again and then you're gonna get damage reduction if you're taunted so it's pretty good i wish it was damage when you're taunted but that's what the skill page is for but still would be nice but you get damage reduction at max dupes and then you just get the immortality at two dupes, but you have to get to five stacks. So overall, especially because it doesn't give the best stats, it only gives 400 uh, magic attack plus some defense. The defense is pretty nice though. The magic attack is decent, but overall, I don't think you should be duping her, especially because she's at 109 speed at base, where every other unit that's at 109, like Magna, um, where are they? Magna, Charmy, Asta, and then Langris, you have to get a max dupe for them to be at 109 speed. Where her, it's just base. So that is honestly just really good. Really, really good. So as for the skill pages, let's talk about them. We've got this one, and it's probably the best one just because it applies the AoE taunt. The AoE taunt is just such a strong mechanic that you really can't let it go. Except for the times when you're low on HP, but uh, beginning game, it's very strong. Then, if you are inflicted with any type of taunt, you have a chance to get up to 20 to 40% increased damage dealt, most likely 20, but 20% damage dealt is pretty good. I, I gotta say, uh, you can't go wrong with that, but obviously it's not all the time, so it could be useless, but just increasing, just this taunt makes this skill page worth it. I'd say it's the best one, but if not, you got the three magic attack, or just all attack skill pages that I think are probably the best, and then you got this one if you don't have any of these, but I'd say going for straight all attack is the best because... She has such high AoE numbers, going up to 390%. So yeah, because you're building so much off of attack and magic attack, it's most definitely best to just build more with all attack than anything. That's kind of how I see it. I don't really think you should use anything else, but uh, it's really... It's up to you. I guess it really is up to you, but uh, this is what I recommend. Now, next up, we've got the Talents. This is how I decided to build her. Obviously, the normal defense, right? That's how I'd go for it. Then for these, I gave the extra SP plus the block. And then for this, you could either go magic attack with crit rate or crit damage with... Or sorry, damage increase with crit damage. I think both of these work. But because... I'm going so much into stats, I into like the actual stats and not just outright damage. I decided to give her the magic attack. Plus, it's also going to increase her burn damage. And also because I have uh, the attack and magic attack one. So yeah, and then I put defense for this. I think defense is the best one for CC. And I don't really see a point in this, but it's whatever. I think it's just me because like bigger numbers equals better right except for the speed obviously so 111 speed so that's that's how i build her for talents now gear if we're looking at the best obviously it would be speed attack and then from that point you could go either a defensive route or go for crit damage i'd say crit damage over crit rate because you're fighting a lot of blue units so you already have increased crit rate but of course penetration works too i really do think speed and attack are the best for her I don't think you should run low speed, but whatever. I'd say either defense, crit, damage, or penetration are like the best ones. But you could also go for this. Um, interestingly enough, this could end up working out and I might need to try it out because you have an 80% chance to uh, wait, hold on. I don't really remember 100% what it was, but it's pretty much, I'm pretty sure you have a chance to increase the skill two cooldown. So when attacking an enemy whose stamina is over 80%, you have a 20% chance of increasing school, uh, skill cooldown, which I think could be pretty toxic, especially because you have an AoE, right? So you could increase multiple peoples. So, you know, low-key, I might have to try it out. And I have magic attack pieces right here. So if I change the substats, I could for sure do that. Now, of course, as for substats, the best one is going to be magic attack. Because 7% magic attack, if you're looking at it, if you have 30k, right? 30, uh, let me pull up Google, right? 30,000 magic attack, right? Let's go times 5%, times 0 0.05. That's an extra 1,500 uh, magic attack you're getting instead of a base magic attack stat so going for magic attack stats are the best but then besides that go for crit damage you could go for pen actually no you can't go for penetration if you want to put a bit of accuracy just sprinkle a bit on that's perfectly fine too but i'd say mainly go for crit values and then magic attack 
if you feel like she needs defense because you're dying a lot, then go ahead. I think that defense would not be too bad for the substats. So yeah, that's basically it for the gear. Now, as for teams, so her main team obviously is going to be uh, the green team. So it would look mainly something like this. You would have Charlotte because you need Charlotte for this team to work. And then you would have Fauna if I could find her because there's two Faunas. Fauna, and then usually you would put Radas. Now the last slot is kind of interchangeable with either support or Langris. So Langris also works because he removes barriers. So if you need to be a bit more offensive, you could put Langris. Also, he blocks heals, which is very good. Or you could put Yuno. Know, this Yuno know, could work decently well. Uh, if just his skill two was magic attack reduction, he would be better. If you want to go for a stun, put Jack. But I would probably recommend me most of the most. You've seen her in use. I've made a showcase, a full showcase video with her. It's the one with the good thumbnail, the one that says one million in the title. If you want to check it out. But this is like one of her main teams. Now the other one would be with Magna at two dupes when he could stun. So essentially a burn team, and it would just be this. If you want to change Rodas, you could change Rodas. Maybe put. Oh, I was gonna say Charlotte, but there's already a Charlotte on the team. So I'd say this one is also pretty good. You would put Charlotte with Magna so that you could get multiple stuns. I would say this team is honestly uh, quite nice. And you would skill two with uh, with Fauna so that Magna could alt and get another burn stack or have another burn stack on the enemy because obviously her AoE does apply a burn. So yeah, that's how I'd go about it. Fauna is a very good unit and mainly using her in a burn team or in a green team is the best. Now in PvE, uh, I can't really show y'all, but the team I used was essentially... Just Fauna, Charlotte, and then you could put Rill with Radas. That's what I did. Where Where's Rill and where's Radas? So Radas and then Rill. This team works very well. And you're just going to skill 2. Like, you're going to always put skill 2 first. And then you're always going to alt first because it still does more damage. Then just, just go like this, right? So this is how it's going to look. The auto for gear, right? It's very quick. Like, you're clearing that shit in like 30 seconds max usually. Maybe 40 if you're unlucky. So yeah, Fauna, very good unit, very happy with her. I don't want to do a uh, Witch Queen build because she's just pathetic. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.